Hello, Interweb Warriors. I'm Les. Today we'll be talking about Karate Lies. Um, but before that, uh, in this channel, I'm expressing my thoughts about martial arts, karate, uh, training, methodology, and so on, so on. Um, if you enjoy it, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. That would be helping our channel to grow and find more people who might enjoy what I have to say, show, um, and promote. Okay, Karate Lies, it's not the video you think it is, um, it's about uh, an honesty and mostly honestly uh, to myself, towards myself. So for many years I've been kind of um, lying to myself, uh, trying to teach something which I wasn't convinced about. Uh, I couldn't find a space within karate that would fit with me. Uh, I'm not 100% for sport, uh, I'm neither 100% for uh, self-defense. Uh, it took me quite a long time to try to fit kind of a square peg into round hole. Um, so I tried to go completely a sports way, um, training with that. And that didn't work out for me. Uh, I enjoy my students uh, uh, partaking in, in martial arts and sports. Uh, competition and different camps and stuff like that. I do like that, I enjoy that, but it, that didn't fulfill me as a coach because um, I enjoy when they're winning, um, but it wasn't the 100% satisfaction. Um, then going self-protection, I don't feel um, confident in, in teaching the, all the awareness, uh, and specific subjects in it, like law and stuff like that. I rather send my students to people who are really specializing in that areas. Uh, and as well, I think that we're living in in a very safe society, at least where I live. Um, and I feel safe. I don't think that spending purely time on self-defense is um, very valuable for me. Um, I rather have fun in training instead of being a bit maybe uh, paranoid about fitting all the time and waiting for that one attack, which might not happen. Um, I have been in a few alterations in my life. Uh, my karate helped me with uh, some winning, some losing, um, and um, but it didn't happen for over 20 years. Nobody attacked me over 20 years. I don't go to the nightclubs. I've got two children, I'm going to safe places. Um, I'm using that awareness I've got. I, I'm, I'm looking what's happening around me. I'm not going with the headphones and stuff like that. I'm looking around, um, seeing, avoiding, and doing. But anyway, it didn't suit me the <coughs> sort of super self defense uh, focus. The thing I enjoy uh, is the holistic approach. Uh, I had a stage when I fell out with karate completely and I thought I'm going to do MMA because I've been doing a bit of a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, MMA and stuff like that. So I thought uh, I'm going to transfer club into more uh, MMA gloves, no geese and stuff like that. Um, that was great for about a um, year or so. And I think my students felt that it's, it's not me. The club started falling apart. Um, I didn't enjoy it fully. Um, I only had left with a couple of students, then I come back to karate and I thought to myself, okay, it's enough uh, of lying to myself. I need to look inside what I actually want from my karate. Um, and I found it. Uh, I found that karate for mental health, karate for health. I like um, exploration of human bodies or joint locks, um, grabs, throws, whatever. And it not necessarily had to be super practical. There's place and space and time for uh, fun, just purely fun, enjoying the, the karate as I do um, with impractical things uh, just for fun, but mainly I'm focusing on um, helping people um, to stay healthy 
both physically and mentally and I think that's that's lacking in in karate society or community that transparency and honesty with themselves with instructors with themselves like myself I look deep inside I decided that the yeah, self-protection is not for me sporting is not really for me I can take bits from that that side um, but to impacting positively people's health and lives uh, building some confidence and, and sort of um, uh, improving their mobility uh, their fitness that's that's what drives me that's what I enjoy and since then I feel much more comfortable with karate I don't have to lie to myself um, but I think um, a lot of instructors using um, whatever methods they can uh, not being honest with themselves and uh, to drive people into the club so a good example is a sporting karate using all karate is for self good for self-defense and they don't teach any self-defense um, same other people uh, don't do competition but saying oh it's a sport of karate I think um, we need to look look inside and decide what karate I want to do um, and I think that would be most beneficial for all karate groups there is a space in karate for all the fraction it doesn't have to be one or the other we can fit all together and uh, work together and help each other not everybody has to be a sporting um, person uh, winning champion sporting champion or um, self-defense self-defense instructor we can be mixed of each other and complement each other and 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 work together um, let me know what you think about it in the comments below um, are you honest with your um, karate um, or you're lying to yourself um, which one you prefer yeah you have practical martial artist are you a sporting person or are you just like me doing all around and enjoying it um, I hope you enjoyed this one please share subscribe and like I would much appreciate your, your help to grow this channel uh, the description is down below and I hope you have a wonderful day take care